But you never know Say we have the power But there's things we touch the road Tell them say we ready Clip them on the cut she load She don't know say we no regular Anything we ready for Bet you never know Bet you never know Now go take no talk I beg no pardon That's for sure Bet you never know Um, this is from Pamela Thank you Pamela I know you've been waiting for me to get this <laughs> How do I open this? Big shout out to Pamela. Okay guys, you know Snow is out here trying her best. Single mother. Oh, prayer journal for women. Cool. Nice. Oh wow. Fifty-two weeks, so I guess it's like for the year. Mm -hmm. Daily journal and Bible scriptures. Yes, thank you so much, Pamela. So after I had overdosed in February, in February, um, I actually went. I was given the opportunity to go to a mother-baby rehab, inpatient rehab. Um, I was there for a month, and it really wasn't working out for me. Um, it was a bad situation for my daughter to be in. Um, and it was really hard to focus on myself when I had, I'm not gonna say to her to take care of, because of course I don't mind taking care of her and everything, but it was a lot of drama with the females in there and I just couldn't focus entirely on myself. So I decided to give my mom kinship care and what that is is basically, she has temporary temporary custody of her until I get on my feet, get entirely back on my feet. Now um, I still have my apartment. I'm looking for a job. I'm thinking about getting on methadone. I'm still undecided because I heard more bad than I have good about it. So um, I'm not sure. Suboxone really doesn't work for me though. I'm not gonna say I'm clean. But my habit is nowhere near what it used to be. I probably at two bags a day now, and that's just to get well. I don't, yeah. I'm too. After my last overdose, I'm, I'm taking it really easy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Looking for a job too, still. Okay, guys. So you heard that Snow is, you know, doing her best. This struggle never ends. It goes on forever and ever, and it's a tough battle that they're facing. And we have to embrace addiction. So Snow, with, um, with fentanyl, can you please tell those who haven't tried it, what, what are the side effects, what are the good, and what are, what are the bad of fentanyl? Well, so I had a, a little over a month clean when I first did it again. It gave me energy for a little bit, like I was able to do stuff because um, I was actually still, I wasn't in withdrawal, but I still had the hot and cold. So I, I was at the very, very end of the withdrawal. Um, so it took that away. I was able to do stuff, but then I nodded out for a long time. So it's mainly like you just, you nod out, um, you don't even realize that you're nodding out most of the time um it's no good it's no good effects really i mean like i said it sometimes i get energy from it but it's no, it's nothing good about fentanyl so what type of energy does it give you like for example um i was still having the hot and cold or what withdraw withdraw in itself as soon as you do it, you feel automatically better. So, say, for example, I didn't fold my clothes. Now I got energy, I can fold my clothes and everything. Stuff like that. Um, you, when you're sick, you don't feel like going to the store. You just want to lay in the bed all day. And now it's like you're able to do that. Mm. Okay, so let the audience know 
It's the consequences when you get into this type of life. When you get into this type of life, um, of course, overdose. Um, but before that, it's like you become dependent on it physically, mentally. Um, before you know it, you're spending your last dollar on it. You're doing whatever you can to get that drug. Stealing, so, mm -hmm. prostituting, whatever. Can you tell us how long does it last with fentanyl? How long does the high last for? Um, it varies. I say anywhere from like 45 minutes to like two hours, and it's two hours if you're like if if you're like like if it's a a good stamp, I should say. Um, well, I snort, so I guess the drip, like the taste, the way it tastes, I could tell. Um, How does it taste? Like. Sweet, I can't explain bitter. it. Not, it's like a bitter, yeah, it's like a bittery taste. It's not really, some of it, sometimes it is sweet, not sweet like candy, but mm -hmm. like it has a sweet, like bitter taste. I can't, it's I can't explain describe, it. It's hard to describe, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is from Becca Miss Fighter. She said, I have an off-topic question to get to know them better. If you were to get sober and offered a dream vacation, where would your dream vacation be? Probably Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic. It's just, it's beautiful there. Like, I never, of course I've never been there, but it, like the pictures, it's, it's beautiful. Okay. Samantha McElroy said, if a friend or loved one was in the same situation as them, what advice would you give to them? Um, definitely do not, no matter if your friends are doing it, the temptation is going to be there, but do not try it, not even once, because once turns into twice, and then you're dependent on it, so do not try drugs, fentanyl, nothing, even, we, I mean, we... I don't know, I, I always used to say weed's not a gateway drug, but I mean, I think everyone started with weed. Mostly everyone started with weed, so it, you know, not even weed. Um, um, Beauty by Bridget D um, wants to know, if you were given the opportunity to safely detox and then go to rehab to get clean, would you go? And or are you ready to get clean and sober? Um, I actually want to go back to rehab just by myself. Um, I know my daughter is, gonna, is well taken care of with my mom. My parental rights are still, they're not, I still have all my parental rights. Um, so I can still see, talk to my daughter whenever I want, but I need to focus on myself and I need to do it for myself. I always say I, I gotta do it for her I gotta do it for her but in reality you have to do it for yourself you can't do it for anyone else not even your kids Getting hype when I what are some things that you're in need of that your supporters can help you with for you and your daughter um well the weather's getting nicer so summer clothes that's you know what lot. size what size should they what um, size I think I gained a little bit of weight, so um, large shirt, pants, um, well shorts, and my daughter, she wears a 7-8 in um, children, and shoes, she wears a 11C, and I wear a 9 in women's. Okay, guys, that was the little update with the lovely snow. Continue to, you know, show her support, you know, all her supporters out there. Drop the comments if you have anything you would like to send for Snow and her daughter. The, um, the, the address is in the description and I will make sure she get it. Okay, Snow, you have any final words you want to say to all your supporters out there? Um, thank you so much and we out there. My parents
words Yeah, but change their mind Cause you were sweet and looking like you care, boy That was hard to fight I caught feelings, how could these feelings I caught feelings, how could these feelings I caught feelings, I caught feelings, how could these feelings